It's the Xander Show, starring Xander Clark. Oh my god. Okay. Featuring Xander. <laughs> What's your favorite memories playing? What's my favorite memories playing? All right. Um, I think one of my favorite memories of playing is we were opening for the band Aerosmith, and that was great. And it was early on in our career, so it was like our first big gig opening for somebody. And of course, it's Aerosmith, and Aerosmith is amazing. And I remember standing on stage, looking across stage, I saw Kevin, and I saw all the guys, and it was just like a moment in time where I was like, wow, I had never anticipated this. This is way beyond what I ever dreamed of, but here we are doing it. It's kind of one of those pinch yourself moments where you're going, this is happening, and this is happening to me, and it's kind of crazy. It's pretty crazy. What's your biggest risk that you've took? Uh, I think being in the music industry is a risk. Be it's a, There's no guarantees. I know people who are super talented, way more talented than me, way more talented than a lot of people I've ever met, but everything happened and sort of lined up. So the music industry is a huge risk. Uh, and just being in the industry, is, that's, that's a pretty big risk. What's your biggest accomplishment? Uh -huh. Hiring your dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you firing your dad. The pinnacle of my existence is hiring your dad. That's uh, it's great. Uh, just having a career in music and being able to still play music and go out and have it as at one point it was our our living it was what we did for a career that's hard to pull off i'm I, again i know a lot of guys who are way more talented uh, you know that have still aren't having careers still doing day jobs and that sort of thing so this is it's just to have any success in the entertainment industry is an accomplishment what's your favorite thing to do besides I, I like to travel. Uh, we traveled a lot with Fuel and we traveled a lot of the bands. What's she doing? <laughs> I'm just a fit in the guy. Kevin Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way, Kevin Miller's in this. Hi. <laughs> uh, I like Old to travel. Bandit. And we traveled all over. He likes to travel. I like to travel. <laughs> uh, yeah, just traveling. I enjoy seeing the world, seeing how other people live, seeing what goes on. It gives you a lot of perspective. It's a lot of fun. So we're traveling today. You're with us today, so. Have you ever been part of or the leader of any band? Yeah, a lot of bands. Again, it goes back to the question you asked earlier about the entertainment. In any career, really, to get to where you are, you've done a lot of schlepping to get there, boy. And uh, we did a lot of it, did a lot of it. So yeah, I've been parts of, leaders of, lots of bands that now we're this one, of course, and it just keeps on going. But yeah, a lot of stuff before you get to it. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Said Easy Easy. <laughs> Out of all the places you've been, what's your favorite? That is a tough one because you go so many places. A lot of times, it, touring is like Groundhog Day. Every day is the same. You go, all right, tomorrow is. I, I've been in places where I woke up and I didn't know what state I was in. I didn't know where I was. I remember walking out looking at trees going, where am I today? It was crazy. But we played a lot of places. I think Kevin and I, I mean, we played Paris. We played the Olympia Theater in Paris. I think it was the Olympia, where it's a pretty classic place. I loved Australia. Australia, Australia was, was nice. fun. We were over there several times. New Zealand And the great. Australian people are so much fun. So yeah. was the English people, too. They're great. You know, and so that was all fun. So, uh, yeah. Good day, mate. Okay. <laughs> Um, what were your high points and low points? <laughs> well, again, hiring me was my low point. <laughs> no, <you're> trying to <laughs> hiring Kevin was definitely a low point. We reached, we knew we'd reach Actually, the bottom. Actually, firing me was his high point. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. It was actually a high point and low point. No, it was a low point. Actually, it was a low point. But remember, I told you, I said, Kevin. I know. Don't make Let's me do this. Let's not go through it again, Carl. <laughs> don't make me do this. I don't want to do this. We tried like three times. and you'd be like, Suddenly he's like a woman. He remembers everything. <laughs> uh, but, uh, seriously, high points are probably, like I said, Aerosmith, doing your own major tour and 
playing big shows. We were just played some big shows actually last week. Getting your first, our first platinum record was like first holy crap. First that was a really your first cool bus. Record. Your first two first bus. Like, oh, right. I remember crazy. pulled up at, at my house. At we met at my house. Oh, brownie. We had a. We were in an RV forever. Yeah. And when our first bus pulled up, I mean, my mom drove over from Allentown to like, I gotta see this. Yeah, that's crazy. But low cool. points too were. A band is like a relationship, right? And, and low points are probably when you have to let people go. Like in Kevin Miller, I linked them as band when Kevin and I parted ways. Uh, and it's not easy. Bands are really, really not easy to keep it all going. It's like any relationship. Like, you know, you know, everybody has ex-girlfriends, ex-wives, ex-friends. Yeah. They don't, they don't last forever. So, you know how some, some days you're, you look at your dad and like, oh my God, that's my dad. I really love him. And the next day you're like... I hate my dad. <laughs> it's just like that. Every day, every day. Even though you don't really hate him, it just kind of feels that way. Every day we see your dad, we see the same thing. <laughs> Why we're on the topic? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about my dad? Ah, uh, daddy! Mark snarky, snarky, Marky, snarky. We love the snarky. We love the snarky. Snarky's great. Snarky's got a hidden talent. Snarky can see. Which one? <laughs> oh, gosh. Don't even get into... No, don't say Snarky's <laughs> Uh You know what? Your dad can sing any rock song. Do you know that your dad can sing any rock song ever written? It is ridiculous. Journey, Boston. White Snake. Nobody can sing that stuff. Nobody I've ever been in a band with can sing that kind of stuff. But your dad can just do it without warming up. <laughs> He's just got a really bad personality. That's his <laughs> And he smells a little bit. He smells a little bit. <laughs> she smells a lot. <laughs> Depending on the day. Depends? He wears the pants. Depends. Oh, there we go. Depends. There we go. Of course, you two, but my expense. <laughs> Your son asked the question. Yeah. Yeah. We were just trying to give your son you a great just interview. Just yeah. giving a great interview here. We're, we're teaching him honesty, Mark. I know. <laughs> we can't lie. We can't show you a bad example. We really like Mark. He's great. <laughs> From a distance. <laughs> Is that it? Yes. The Xander Show. The Xander Show. The Xander Show. The Xander Show.